So here is a good question that I recently heard. How many questions to ask in a qualitative interview? What is uh, the minimum? What is the maximum? What should I plan? How do I plan my interview guide? What should I aim for? Uh, so as you may suspect, there is no one clear answer to this question, but I'll try to help as much as possible. And here we will, uh, to answer this question, we'll have to talk a little bit about the, the process of developing an interview guide, a little bit about the, the aim of the interview, and uh, mostly about the duration of the interview. Because as you may suspect, uh, these two, the number of questions and the duration, of course, they, uh, they relate to each other. And you don't want your interview to be too long, you don't want to be your interview too short, so that's why usually you want to know how many questions you should have in your interview guide. So to start this discussion, to start answering this question, uh, I need to make one very important point, namely that the number of questions in your interview should never uh, be your starting point. It, it should never be your starting point. When you're thinking about the interview guide, this is not something you should be concerned about. Uh, in these initial stages of planning that interview guide. You should be concerned about other things. So, so here it's important to understand uh, what the aim of the interview is. And although it may seem obvious, the aim of the interview is of course to answer your research questions and uh, to exhaust your topic. This is very important, to exhaust your topic so that you can really answer your research questions. This will also uh, link to further stages if you're, if you're not experienced, you're not thinking about data analysis just yet, but if I think about it, uh, due to my experience in analyzing the data, I straight away uh, am thinking about the subsequent data analysis. And this means that I do want to exhaust this topic, like I said, I do want to have a lot of material to analyze, to make sure that I can in fact answer my research questions. So you want to answer your research questions, you want to exhaust the topic, and, and this is very important, you want to do that in uh, with as few uh, questions as possible and in as short a time as possible. So this is important, as short time as possible. However, this is not to say that this time should indeed be short. I said as short as possible. In some cases, it's not possible to answer your research questions and exhaust the topic in less than uh, an hour, for example, or an hour and a half. This will depend on your study. So in some studies, uh, it's enough to talk for five or ten minutes if you have just three simple questions. In some studies, it's just not possible to do that, to achieve that. So in some studies, you, you do have to spend much more, let's say, like I said, one hour, one hour and a half. So again, in this particular case, this will be uh, as, as short as possible. This is not two hours, this is not three hours, it's one hour, one hour and a half. So as I hope it is becoming clear by now, the starting point as I said before, is not the number of questions. The starting point are the questions. The starting point is the interview guide and how you develop it, how you uh, design it in order to make sure that it does help you exhaust that topic. So this is your starting point. Never think about the research questions. Don't even think about the duration of the interview, just uh, about the ways to develop the questions so that they can help you achieve the, uh, the aims of the study. And here, uh, this uh, leads us to the process of developing the interview guide. I do have another video in which I uh, go through that process in much more detail. I'll make sure to link to that video uh, under this video. Uh, so I won't go into too much detail of that, but I do explain in that video how I usually uh, approach this task of, of developing my interview guide. And to summarize, the way this happens is that I start with a blank page, I put my research questions on that page, I type my research questions, and then I brainstorm and I come up with as many questions as physically possible for each of these questions. So for each, under each of these research questions that I have, so these are of, of course the main questions guiding my study. For each of these research questions, I brainstorm and I write down as many uh, questions as possible that will help me in some way uh, approach, answer these questions, each of these questions. So here I'm thinking of all possible ways uh, for how to approach, uh, how to ask uh, this, uh, this question or how to find an answer to this question, all possible perspectives from which I can approach this question, all possible follow-up questions, sub-questions, prompts, everything that will help you, uh, help me get to the bottom of this, of this topic. So that is what I'm 
thinking about and still i'm not thinking about the number of these questions though there is likely to be a lot of questions of course as i'm brainstorming but i'm not thinking about that just yet so i'm just uh, listing all possible questions under each of my research questions and then uh, Again, as I explained in that video, I won't go into too much detail here, but I, I generally do some cleanup. So at some point I will look at these questions. I'll probably get rid of some extras, some duplicates, some things that I don't uh, think are uh, absolutely necessary. Uh, I'll introduce some, some structure. I'll reorganize things slightly, add some intro and, and some uh, closure to the interview. So, so I will do some cleanup and, and then I'm just looking at that product. Uh, and thinking only at that stage I may start to wonder is it feasible, is it possible, is it realistic to, to actually conduct this interview. So as I said before the aim is to uh, ask as few questions as possible. Again this does not mean to ask few questions, it just means ask as few questions as possible. So in that cleanup I will ensure that I only keep what's absolutely necessary. I'll only keep what uh, I believe I have to keep in order uh, to, to discuss that topic and to answer my research question. So this is, so the final, whatever it is, the final result, the final, uh, the final interview guide is what I believe to be the minimum that I need to do, I need to ask. And, uh, and at this point, like I said, it may become uh, evident to me how long this interview is likely to last. Of course, again, it depends on the experience. It depends not just on the experience, it depends on uh, on the actual interview situation and then your interviewees as well because sometimes uh, one person uh, for one person it will take 15 minutes or 10 minutes to answer these questions and for somebody it may take 40 minutes people also have different ways of speaking so so there is uh, so there is no way of always knowing how long it will take to conduct this interview but you may have a rough idea also of course this is why you need pilot studies that's very very important so not just to pilot the questions and all kinds of things including the equipment but also to see how long uh, the interview lasts so uh, so no so there is no way of knowing exactly how it how long it will last but usually you have some general indication you can feel you can see whether it's a, a very long document you, you can guess whether it's it's gonna take you know one or two hours or 20 minutes so have a you can have a very general idea at that point so at this point if you for example find or you, you suspect that this interview will last for one hour this is exactly where you're probably uh, beginning to worry because maybe you thought uh, or you're hoping for it to only last for 15 or 20 minutes or maybe your participants uh, will not want to sit there for one hour maybe you already made some contacts and maybe you told them it's going to be 30 minutes and you really don't want it to to take one hour and uh, here I'm afraid uh, there is not much you can do. I, there's not much I can I can advise you apart from either completely changing your study and your research questions or or just recruiting different participants because uh, this links to what I said before. The number of questions or the duration will never be your starting point. Uh, remember as you are developing that interview guide you decided you did that cleanup and of course you provided that you did it in the right way because there is always something you can remove or maybe you have too many questions that ask the same thing so i'm not uh, talking about these cases i'm talking about the final result uh, result where uh, the final product where you know it is the minimum that you have to ask remember so uh, so as i said before uh, this is the minimum and your main your priority is always to answer your research questions to to help you know to, to achieve the aims of the study so if your participants uh, do not agree to for example be interviewed for one hour uh, you should not try to reduce the number of questions you should not try to uh, shorten shorten that interview guide to satisfy to please your participants because if your original product if your original interview guide was good and it lasts for and it's supposed to last for one hour it means that if you make it last for 30 minutes it's not going to be good it's not going to be perfect for sure it may be okay it may be okay for a short interview or okay to some extent but this is definitely not what you want you want your interview guide to be perfect you want it to, to help you really get that in-depth knowledge so like i said there are many problems with the situation i described if your participants 
we're told is going to last 15 minutes, for example, it means you should have, shouldn't have told them that. You shouldn't have told them that before you developed your interview guide. So that's, I guess, another advice. You never recruit your participants before you actually know what's, what's going to be in the interview guide because you do have to inform them very accurately and clearly what's going to happen during the study once they are recruited. But again, as I said, you do want to make it as short as possible with as few questions as possible, but how few is few is something I cannot answer for you. So just remember the number one advice is to always focus on the aim of the study, the aim of the interview first, and then see how many questions it takes you uh, it takes for you to achieve that aim. So this is it. Uh, I hope that you learned something new. I know I did not really give you the answer of how many questions you need in your interview guide, uh, but at the same time I hope that you understood that there is no such answer and perhaps I helped you feel less stressed about the number of questions in your interview guide. Anyway, I hope you learned something new. Please like the video if you did, consider subs subscribing and uh, feel free to explore uh, all the different ways in which I can support you and your study. So I'll put some links under the video.